Hello, it's Pete here again. Welcome to the vlog. Today, I've got something rather wicked for you. And these are made using the dimensional multi-frame set. So it's one set of dies, just four dies, but you can make up to 10 different frames using this. And I'm about to show you how. Now, obviously today it's a Halloween theme and we're bringing in some of our other wonderful sets. But let's talk about, let's show you the frames. This is the set, this is dimensional multi-frames. And as you can see, there are 10 different options. Uh, I'm gonna talk more about these, how they go together. I'm gonna show you how they go together and some of the things that you can create with them. Also, another die set. Well, it's not a die set, it's one single die. And this is Elegant Capitals, designed by the wonderful Jen Ogborn. Really cool, it's a great size, it's a great size. You wait and see how these come out. And then finally, Lisa Jones has brought us spooky icons. Lisa does these sets so well that, you know, that there's, so, you, there's so many variables. There's so many variables, so many ways that you can use all these different elements. It really is the gift that keeps on giving. Now, pop those to one side for a second. I'm gonna show you how to make those lovely frames. And if I grab my dies, you now I've got four different dies you can see here. So, if I cut this one, the small one, four times, I make a very small frame. If I cut the big one four times, I make a very big frame. Now, if I cut two of those and two of these, I make a long, slim frame. So you can see how they go together. But you're probably wondering about this bit. How, how does that relate to what we're doing? Well, I'm, I'm about to show you because we'll cut, cut a piece of gray card could be whatever color you want or pattern or texture so i'm going to pop that into my big shot machine and run it through so that comes out the other side not only does it cut but it also creases which is very important for what's going to happen next and when when i do these creases no Hopefully I'm gonna show you something which, which is very important in the design of these. And that is this center section is actually wider than these two either side. And that makes a big difference. And that is what makes it easy to put these together because we've seen, we've seen some of these, some dies, that construction dies, and they're quite fiddly, but not this one. We've, we've actually gone to town and tried to design it to make it as user-friendly uh, and as obvious as we possibly can. I wish the end of my tape was as obvious. Ah, there we are, I've found it. Always when you do a video, don't know why. There you go. So I'm gonna take some of this wonderful red tape very high-tech tape and I'm going to trim that to size before peeling away the backing. Now notice where I put the tape. It's across that side there. This is just the way that I prefer to do it. Now when I fold this in, what I'm going to do now, and I'm hoping you can see this, is when I push these together Okay, what happens is, now, that won't go any further. And the reason, the reason is, is because it's stopped by the inside. But what it does do is it creates this lovely dimension you can see in there. So it actually domes as you go. So, it, you know, it, it's really easy to do and it, and it works every single time. Now, that's just one, of course, We've got one, two, three, and four. And the reason it has this little bit that comes out there is so that I can slot one inside the other like that. And it fits really, really snug. So then I take the next one and pop that in there, slide it underneath. And then finally, 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 there's our last one. And then if I slip this one into here, because as, as long as you get these corners together, that's going to create a perfect square frame every time. Now, you can have this frame freestanding. Let's tuck that one under there. You can have that 
just like that with no backing. So you could stick some sort of icon or something in there, or as I sometimes prefer to do, I've taken a piece of card, I've applied some double-sided tape, same tape to the edges, and I'm just gonna pop that there. And that gives me the extra security, but you can see the depth and the dimension of that frame. Um, let's take a look at the one that I, I created earlier, or one of four that I actually created that we looked at at the beginning. Exactly the same. Now this one, obviously, that's using the next size up. Uh, this is the, exactly the same size, only in black. And this one, as I said, this is using the very small piece and the long piece. So that's using them together like that. I wanted to show you the, those wonderful, those wonderful dyes as well. These, these gorgeous, gorgeous, spooky icons. We've got the skull, the bones, we've got the witch's hat, we've got the pumpkin, we've got the poison bottle. There's all sorts of leaves and flowers and oh, wouldn't be Halloween without a couple of bats, even a couple of hearts in there. So you can see from these, actually, that's a really good example. So bringing all those items together, you can take any of those out, add more in, you can have a row of pumpkins, you can have bats flying across uh, a moon. It's entirely up to you, it is one of those sets that there are always different options. Let's look at the alphabet as well, elegant capitals and very aptly named because you can see, look at this, this is, this is die cut from opulent gold card. I mean, come on. I mean, look at that. They are just absolutely gorgeous. So delicate, so clean. And you could back this if you wanted to with the double-sided adhesive sheets. So you can just peel the backing off and stick them straight down onto your project. But absolutely gorgeous. And particularly when we use our opulence. Um, I want to show you, I want to show you as well, another feature of these frames. As I say, there are 10 possibilities. So how about cut them out of pattern paper? I've got some lovely wood grain paper as well. I've put a backing on these, but here's a really neat feature. And this happens with the square frames as well. Because of the way that they've been designed, these actually nest, so they sit inside each other. So if you want to go for a simple graduation of color or different patterns and so on and so forth, and you want to create a frame within a frame within a frame, that's entirely up to you. How do they cut out from opulence, I ask? You, I hear you ask, I should say. How about that? Letting, letting the light uh, do its thing. And you can, see, you can see the back there. You know, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, obviously with the opulence, you need to curl slightly, use a tool to curl the cardstock so it doesn't crease, you gotta be very careful. Um, but, but just gorgeous, and as I say, I could do the smallest square, then have the next size, the next size, and the next size, so I could have four squares all layered up, creating the same kind of effect as that. So. We've got the multi, I keep calling them multi-dimensionals, dimensional multi-frames. We've got that gorgeous alphabet, which is called, it's gonna come to me, it's gonna come to me. It's called Elegant Capitals, of course it is. And finally, Spooky Icons, three really great sets. Whether you use them for Halloween makes, whether you use them for Christmas, or indeed all year round, you could put some gorgeous florals in there in the spring. You could have, a, Easter, it could be, it could be, uh, you know, like a name plaque on a bedroom door. Wow, I mean, you know, you guys come up with ideas, you send us some fantastic things in, uh, which, we, which we love to see, because that in turn gives us ideas and it feeds on itself, so thank you very much. Um, but of course, if you wanna see more videos using some of these great products at all of our chapter three, then please go along to our YouTube channel, have a look on our Facebook page, Instagram, Pinterest, it's all there, go enjoy. Thank you very much for joining me today. I've been Pete and I'll see you again soon.